second, because I think I may have it. Next up, you're going to meet a special woman. Now, obviously, Philadelphia has a great arts culture and a great nightlife culture. And somebody who combines those two things is Stacy Fly Girl Wilson. I just enjoy being a creative and like coming up with ideas and making them happen. I've been planning events for uh, more than 25 years. My parties have everything from like game nights, concerts, art exhibits. Everything's been centered around just classic music, classic hip hop, house music. In the 90s, I was the manager of a nightclub called Brave New World. From there, I started my own company with Questlove and Yamin All World, uh, which was called Square Biz, and we started a party called Tasty Treats. About a year or two in, Mike Nice joined us. We had a host of every legendary DJ you can imagine come spin with us. Q-Tip, Biz Marquee, DJ Premier, Ninth Wonder, everybody. And then you got the John t-shirts. Like, you were like, <laughs> they, they just don't stop with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, the John shirts, I can't take full credit for. Uh, we uh, created those in 2001 for Tasty Treats. Uh, I will definitely give Yami and All World his credit on that and Quest Love. Because our party was called Tasty Treats, we had hostesses that gave out Tasty Cakes. So we originally had shirts for them that said Tasty John. And from there, everybody really loved those shirts. So we kind of expanded it. Those shirts became Fly John and 215 John, the Illadelph John. I do a lot of sip and paint events. I don't tell them what we're doing. So through it, they just can't figure out what's going on, which is so much fun for me. <laughs> because at the end, they're like really surprised with themselves. I did not intend to be an artist. I went, like I said, I went to college for uh, graphic design, but became an illustrator. It's part of me now, and I would never, you know, look back, but it's also morphed into a lot of things. I don't just paint, I sculpt. I paint on anything, so I have furniture and jewelry and all kinds of stuff. My art often has resonated with, with different people for different reasons, and I've kind of ventured out a little bit. I've been doing murals with Tiny Room for Elephants. A lot of people refer to my art as comic book-esque or graffiti-esque. It features women often, um, more times than not. Um, and I just find strength in women. I find them beautiful. I find that I can kind of live through them vicariously. I did have work on uh, The Real World Philadelphia and on uh, Half and Half, and also published in Jill Scott's poetry book. You talked about earlier the work that you did for Diggable Planets and their 30th yes. anniversary. Yeah, so I've done some work for Diggable. Um, I have created their website and I did their live album as a graphic designer. And I've done their merch for their 30th year anniversary of their album Reaching. To look back and be like, wow, I'm, I'm part of this thing that's just like so much bigger than me and this movement and this time that people really still to this day talk about even things from like 15 years ago 20 years ago how special it was to them and things that I've done that maybe I forgot about but I find it to be really special for me and I don't take it for granted at all I've got to go to one of those sip and paint events if you want to check out her website it's flygirl.com and it's fly girl, there's two R's.